you know. There's a, uh, yeah, Amber Heard started OnlyFans. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's just I would believe it. He's starting a conspiracy right now. I would yeah, believe this anything. Is a, this is wait, 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 conspiracy. Wait, wait, wait. Do you believe right anything? <laughs> what do you think about uh, the verdict? Well, I think it was probably um, good for all people who believe in the truth. Mm. Mm-hmm. And the, the problem is there's like this boys versus girls narrative that I think we all get into on these things. You know, and there's a lot of guys who wanted a guy to win one of these things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just not good to not be honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are doing that and you're doing it to try to hurt someone. Mm. Yeah. Like if you're purposely changing reality, you're lying about what happened just to try to hurt somebody. Right. You're you're doing a fucked up thing Mm. because you're pretending you're a victim. And it's, so it's not as simple as you're just lying. Mm-hmm. You you are turning someone into a criminal. Mm. You're pretending you're a victim. And it's if if it's all not true, if it's all not true, it's a really bad thing. Yeah, it's really bad. It's yeah. just bad for all of us. Yeah. So whether it's bad for like someone said that the the verdict is bad for women, I'm like that's crazy. They're gonna say that. Mm. That's crazy. It's it's just not good to do shit like that. Do you think it's pretend all not some guy true? beat you up? I don't know. I, I could, I you know, you watch the trial and you form your own opinions. Mm-hmm. Unless you're there, unless there's direct evidence. And other than the evidence of like the conversations they had uh, that they were both recording, which, which is, is so wild. Weird. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like shit gotta get crazy. fucked up before yeah. you press record when that you're arguing. so with your wife, wild. Man. Now, did they secretly yeah, record each other? Yeah, why would you want to listen to what your wife says twice? <laughs> <laughs> think about uh, yeah, the torture. Did they secretly record each other? No, I think they, I think they both knew. So they both knew. Yeah. That they, so they decided to have like a performance conversation. Because <laughs> if you're recording it, you're recording it knowing someone else is going to listen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not a real conversation. Like you're putting on a show. Yes. Yeah. It's a it's a real. It's like yes. keeping up with the Kardashians knows the cameras there. Yeah. <laughs> they know the cameras are there. Yeah. That's true. You need to get Chris they're putting on Jenner. a show. You need Chris Jenner on. Oh, I don't need that. Dude, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why do you need that? You I would love is, that. What uh, is so fascinating? There's a boundary. I just never met a demon before. <laughs> oh, my, my gosh. goodness. <laughs> what? Jeez. I said something wrong. just call people demons, Dude. bro. <laughs> Yeah, bro. <laughs> Why? Because I downgraded her from devil? Is that the issue? But isn't she just crafty? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, that's exactly. yeah that's I think that's crafty. I don't know if crafty is the word. Well, <laughs> she's like made the most with whatever resources she had. She Every went for movie it. Daughter I've seen porn? The devil? Yeah. yeah, daughter porn. <laughs> That's a resource. <laughs> That's the crazy thing is if I'm she... trying to look at things with rose colored glasses. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's that. the Austin shit. There's so much defensiveness in this world right now. And there's so much like what we, we think of as um, like things that are completely out of our hands. Like when you think of things like the war with uh, the possible war with Ukraine, that's completely out of our hands. Mm. We're all just sitting here mm-hmm. in a state of anxiety. Right, like, what are we gonna do? Mm, like, if yeah. if Russia launches a nuke, if some wild shit happens, if China invades Taiwan, mm-hmm. what are we gonna do? And so yeah. we're in this like perpetual state of never feeling like I'm just living life yeah. mm. because I'm living life under this canopy of danger right. mm. and doom. Yeah. And if it's not that, it's climate change. Yeah. yeah. If not, if it's not that, it's the new variants. There's going to be new variants mm, yes. coming in January. Get ready. Yeah. Like, it's like this constant, but the, which is we've got to be aware of things. But the problem with danger is when it gets in the zeitgeist like that. Yeah. It 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 takes a long time to clean that out. Yeah. When I was a kid, it was the Cold War days were happening, and we were legitimately worried that at any day Russia could nuke the United States. And it came super and, close, right? <sighs> I, Super close. Well, they definitely did during the Cuban Missile that, Crisis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was that was a little bit before my time, but <laughs> that was, but not by much. I'm old as fuck, <laughs> 54. But they they were worried all the time, man. They had stop, drop, and roll, or what, what did you stop? Oh, yeah. Drop and cover desk. or something like Get that. Yeah, you're supposed to, yeah, they yeah. had like that yeah, stupid yeah. saying desk. though. Hide under desk. Yeah. Or something it wasn't like stop, that. drop and roll. That's if you're on That's fire. That's fire, yeah. yeah. But it's like stop, drop, cover or some shit like that. Something like that. But we were, when we were in high school, man, it was a legit fear. Like when that Red Dawn movie came out. Yeah. Like there was a legit fear that we were going to go to a nuclear war with Russia and we would mm. all get wiped out. And everybody had this kind of anxiety about it. It like stuck with you. Mm-hmm. And then when, when the Soviet Union fell, that all went away. And for a brief moment of time, it felt relaxed. Mm-hmm. It really did. Yeah. 
It felt like we don't have to worry about nuclear war. We just have to worry about fucked up wars. Mm-hmm. We just have to worry about these hot wars. They're shooting tanks at each other in the desert. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. As long as we don't have to worry about <laughs> nuclear war. Yeah. You know, so we like accepted a certain level of war. And now the nuclear war part is back on the table. And I think that's one of the things that it, it flavors all of our conversations, whether we realize it or not, is we're all under this like steady state of anxiety. Yes. And then climate change. But, <laughs> yeah. And it's not saying don't do things about climate change. We t- should. But yeah. all this, how dare you, yeah. all that. It's Why like, is that advantageous to keep us in a steady state of anxiety? It's not that it's advantageous. It's, it's human nature to like seek that. It's human nature to try to find the danger. The problem is you're not supposed to know about danger with 7 billion people. Yeah. It's too many fucking people. Yeah. You're supposed to know about danger in your community. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're supposed to have a small tribe of 150 or so people and you know about everything you can't eat and you know about mm-hmm. all the people that are dangerous. Yeah, yeah. It's you like know, 70 people. Like yeah. Dun- Dunbar number. I think, or it's, I think it's 150. 150, 150 yeah. But it's, yeah. it's actually tiered. I didn't know it was tiered. It's uh, The Dunbar's number is you get a certain amount of like intimate close friends mm-hmm. that you know well. And then from there on, it's like you get 50 people who you know their name, but you don't know too much about them. And then mm-hmm. there's like a, yeah, another 50, 100 people. Yeah. 1,500 people you can recognize, 500 acquaintances, 150 meaningful contacts. Contacts, 50 friends, 15 good friends. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I someone's would cut gotta, all of that by a third. Someone's got to get cut. Loved ones. What if you know a lot of cool people? We know a lot of cool people. Yeah. Common. Someone's got to get cut. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get cut from my top 15. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lot of, my space it's a lot top of in the nine. store in your mind. Like, Everybody's right. like, bro, why am I not in your top nine? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Your friends want to be in your top nine. I'm like, okay. All right, man. This is so silly. <laughs> Is your MySpace list just all over? That's it. your Dunbar number, bro. <laughs> Cut, dude. Oof. That's the thing. It's like, I think we really are only designed to interact with a certain amount of people. I think that's why interaction on social media is so like hostile. Mm. It's so it's it's not normal. You're not supposed to be in, interacting with that many people. It's like you got data coming out. It's like yeah. it's like yeah. too much. And I can't yeah. care about you. I just have too many people. It's too I'm much. Past that fifteen hundred. Yeah. So I don't give a fuck but about But do our brains adapt, though, over time, you think? I think they do. I think our brains are going to evolve, and they're going to eventually, whether it's through electronic intervention, which is the most likely scenario, that they put something in our brains, and it allows us to uh, interface with each other in a different way. And Elon, the way Elon described it, he said, you're going to be able to talk without words. Mm. There's Neuralink. Yeah, this is his version of it. But I'm sure there's multiple versions. Do you think developed. we see that in our lifetime? Yes. Yes. I think we see that way quicker than we think. I, I think how cell phones took over, when cell phones went from being like, who has a cell Look at Michael Douglas on the beach yeah. with that fucking yeah. brain. Yeah. Greed is good, yeah. bitch. Remember those days? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. How many assholes did that movie make? <laughs> He goes, that movie made so many yeah. righteous assholes. Gordon he goes worst. to jail yeah. at the end, and no one talks about that part. Yeah, Gordon no one talks Kelly about that so part. Before that. But before that, he was bo- looking at that phone on the beach, bitch, <laughs> making phone calls. No cord out here in the sand. <laughs> Doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. You Drinking margaritas and shaping world politics. Yeah. You can't finish the movie. You yeah. cut it off right before yeah. the end. You're like, oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's when it's good. It's yeah. like Scarface. I'm sad when he dies. <laughs> I wanted Tony Montana to live. Yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I wanted him to live. I should have never smoked I like that a, shit. I like him. <laughs> I should have never <laughs> fucking smoked that like shit. Be honest. But one God to ten. Damn. One to ten. How are Light you? it up again, Joe. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. If we're going for it, we're going for it. How You're are Let's there. go. You're I've been there. emasculated by a guy wearing a fanny pack right now. I don't know what to say. I'm too fucking high. Look at that. I like how you went leather. I always wear this one. It's my nice one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you wear fanny packs. Do you have different ones? Yeah, I got a, I have a five of these fucking You got ones. a sleep yeah. one. You got the workout one. No, no, but I, I, just the one I usually use. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Andrew has one of those, but he wears around his shoulder, which I think is way gayer. Oh, yeah, that's worse. Well, it's just a cop out. Yeah, yeah right? thank you. Right? You're just afraid. My wife gave it to me. You're yeah, just afraid, yeah. afraid of this. You're afraid of this look. <laughs> it's just two balls. Look at this. <laughs> it's like a kilt. It's this like is what it looks like yeah. when a man does not give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. This is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> this is what you've been working for. This is better. It's better. I can keep stuff in there. It's better. Dude, yeah. It's, it's just better. Uh-huh. Yeah. What about pockets? 
<laughs> yeah, but they get in the way, dude. They dig into your legs. But what do you keep in there? Alex's legs. Weed yeah, and yeah. fact, like, Look at Joe's legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got I got one. It's a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He puts the a quarter over. in there. He's like, God damn it. I'm like the princess in the pee. <laughs> Remember that story? Is that the dumbest fucking story of all time? With the beds? Yeah, they found out she was a princess because they put a pee like 13 oh, mattresses yeah, yeah, yeah. under and she yeah. couldn't sleep. <laughs> I did she was in an agony. Answer. Imagine, like, she's a princess because her body is so weak <laughs> that if you put a pee under her, it's all the she can't yeah, sleep. It was the inbreeding, dude. She, her body's just... I was imagine that, that and that I didn't a, say it because I'm hot. That's a good <laughs> trait. But imagine that that's supposed to be a good trait. Yeah. What? That that's how you can tell she's a princess. Mm -hmm. She can't even sleep with a pee under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so delicate, delicate that a pee fucked her up. Yeah, <laughs> and that's supposed to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you talking about? That's like the more fat and pale you were back in the day. Like the more high in society you were. Uh, yeah, food, yeah. man. <laughs> if you could afford gluttony in the face of abject poverty all around you, yeah. people are literally starving to death. And you're a slob. And you're sleeping on food. And you're slopping <laughs> down. <laughs> Just filled gut with wine yeah. and beer. That was, <laughs> that was the first Gordon Gecko. That was it. That was yeah. just a guy that was super fat in the 1700s. Greed is good. <laughs> everybody's everybody's like, we, we could just get a few crumbs. Sir. No, I'm gonna, just, go just get a few crumbs. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why'd we do this, bro? This guy's high already, dude. Wait, wait, light it you again. You gotta let it go. Light you gotta it let again. it go. Light it just again. accept it. Accept oh, it. That this is this is what's happened. <laughs> yeah. You've gotten high in front it's, of the whole world. It's Tai Chi, bro. You're just moving. Yeah, you gotta move. Yeah, he knows what the fuck Come is on. up. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I googled that right before, but I got it. <laughs> I've never seen you. High How are you before? not high? I don't know. Because yo. he faked it. I didn't Did you fake not, it. You didn't inhale smoked. it, right? Joe accepted it. It might have faked it. It was an acceptable no. puff to do. I have to take it on the honor system. Depends on how much went in. Some came out. So I don't know what I'm Something, doing. Something, you know, was in there. I think it was one of these. Did you guys get fucked up at all from the week? A little bit. A little no, bit. Come, on, little bit. come on. A little bit. I feel a tad slow. But not like this guy. <laughs> I'm not slow. I'm chilling. It's really? not that it's slow. He's right now. He's People look He's at good. it the wrong way. Okay, what is it? What is it, it? Just, it just removes a layer of protection. I feel... Between new, you and the known universe. Yeah. I don't feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel more like I would like the layer back. <laughs> You'll get it back I enjoyed, eventually. I enjoyed that protection I that I had. You'll get I it back. It. You're you gonna get. Man? You're gonna get the layer back. How far just is that couch, wait. though? Just, <laughs> it's nice. That couch, couch, right, though? It's very nice. Yeah, it's a nice couch. It looks like good couches. on it. It, it doesn't good. make you more comfortable than huh? like an office chair. Right, there though? Making me rethink my situation. He likes wire, <laughs> See what I'm saying? Mics. Wireless mics, you get to move around, do act outs. It's definitely better for talking shit. I love that. This is definitely better for talking shit. That's it. We're just here to talk shit. But I, I wonder <laughs> if a whiskey. couch would be the way you'd want to interview a scientist, though. No, but a, a guy, guy who different? just got tits. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> a guy who, I mean, who's now a woman, a female woman with <laughs> huge tits. Yes. That's how I would like to interview them. Well, I, I bet you'd probably do your show. Say again? I, no, I, go, I bet can, you'd probably do your show. Can you get me the North Korean? Oh my god. Well, gosh. she has a name. Oh my gosh. You only <laughs> You gonna make me pronounce the name, bro? Yeah, also, <laughs> Come on. Dude. I don't think I, she's the North Korean. I think there's a North, North Korean. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about Kim. Oh, you're talking about Kim? Yeah, my boy Kim. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, is there do you think that she would ever come on? We could reach out. Yeonmi. Yeonmi Park. Yeonmi Park. Yeah. Her story is crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Her is story is so it? crazy. What, what else? Crazy crazy crazy, crazy, she got some crazy things. What? Bro. Don't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> You're being bad. No, Joe, You're come on! Stop acting bad. like you got Don't a fanny pack on. We just trying to talk about the Hermes, bro. That's all. The Hermes. Dude, Girl, we it. send each other memes. He'll send me pictures <laughs> of a dude squatting, and I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> the heavies. <laughs> the soup heavies, bro. No, she got some, bro. She got some. That's how they make them out there that in NK. That the dog. majority of our interaction on text messages for a solid four or five days. Yeah. After that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the scouring. Andrew, Andrew just texted me the heavies. <laughs> Dying. Yo, me park out to Dying. dinner. Me too. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what, Al? Listen, your boy getting a little saucy. <laughs> and it is what it is, you know? Bro, 
Flash your cigar, dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's good. that little foreskin, Let dog. Let me get my foreskin. Let it hang, man. These my, are good cigars. What do you think feet. about circumcising <laughs> women? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I might have made what? a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. I take, I take full responsibility yes. for whatever happens here. It's clearly my fault. Why'd you get them high? Because Let's I wanted to see. Let's you got to experience it, bro. Someone Let's pull my have pants some down. Fun. These pants are getting crazy right now. You know what I'm saying, Joe? You know what I'm saying? I do, my friend. I'm really happy for you. And I want to tell you one thing that I I love about what you do Mm -hmm. is you find your own ways through things. You know, you find your own ways through things. And I was talking about you the other day in the green room at the Vulcan in Austin. I said, think about it. Like, you can't even say, turn your phone sideways. <laughs> that's Schultz's shit. <laughs> when he says, sir, yeah. turn your phone. You can't say that anymore. I agree. No one else can say that. You can't. You figured out how to own, turn your phone sideways. <laughs> I've stolen a we lot did of stuff it. from we this did guy. It. We but did that's it. a Steal weird one. Here. That's a yeah. weird one. I can't steal that one. I've it's tried. like, wow, how did he? Like, okay. And then you figured out how to do that and make these cinematic, comedic pieces while the world was falling apart. When yeah. no one was doing anything. Yeah. You put your shit all out on YouTube, it blows up, yeah. you, and then you put together this place. This is cool as fuck. We did. We did. All these guys. Yeah, I know, no, fun, no, man. I know. I know there's other people involved. I'm just trying to tell you. Well, I thank like, you, what, man. What that you're means doing, a lot, bro. What you're doing is awesome. What you're doing gives me hope because you're doing exactly what, what the cameras are off, what you do when the cameras are on. The way we talk shit when the cameras are off is the way we talk shit when the cameras are on. You're a real dude. Mm. And it's it's so important for people like that. And Akash, I really wish you would go back to eating meat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Get back issue. on, dog. It's an you're issue. awesome too, both of you guys. And the, the, <laughs> the, you know, the fact that you, you've carved your own show, you got your own vibe to your show. You know, it's like your show is a fun, silly hang, you know, but you could talk about serious shit, too. Mm, like yeah. you can flow sure. back and forth between serious shit and complete preposterous conversations. Yeah. The only way is fun. It's so fun. We're so lucky that we get to do this. Don't you wish some of them scientists you were talking to had a fucking joke in their body? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Sometimes. Be but honest. sometimes I want to talk to them, too. You know, I mean, I, even if they're dry, like I want to s- extract, like what you, you need a person who thinks like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what's fascinating to me because I'm so dumb. <laughs> Yo, this is the biggest cat yeah, in the world, bro. You telling people you're dumb is bullshit. No, no, no. I'm dumb compared to Joe, these people. Compl- no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. They're good at one Do you know thing. how to play pool? Yes. <laughs> okay. Me too. I'm one of the but best pool players ever. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I know how to play pool, but I suck. I don't suck compared to you. I'll fuck you up. (laughs) But I suck suck compared to regular people. Right. Or or rather compared to professionals. Yes. There's levels. Yes. And I am fucking dumb. When I talk to Elon Musk, I'm very aware how dumb I am. Really? Yes. When I talk to Lex Friedman, when I talk to Eric Weinstein. But if you talk to Elon about emotions and human interaction. (laughs) If you talk to Elon about emotions and human interaction, probably you're much smarter than him. He's not dumb in that regard. He's a different kind of human, man. Like, that's an unusual combination of characteristics. He likes to make jokes. Mm. He takes a picture of Bill Gates, and then he puts it next to a pregnant Yo. man emoji, <laughs> and it says, here's a quick way to lose your boner. Yeah. <laughs> or, or if you want to lose your boner really quick, that's what he said. He posts that! Yeah. He po- he's the richest man in the world, and he's dunking on other billionaires. I love that. No, you I gotta love that. celebrate that. I love Elon. And he loves that nature of the internet. And the, the thing that bothers him is this idea that like one gatekeeper can di- dictate whether or not something gets released into the whole world. If you're using something like Twitter, like right. you could have an, an amazing story, and they can block it if ideologically they disagree with it. Like, that's what happened with that Hunter Biden laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened with that? Well, they decided to say that it was Russian disinformation and that um, you couldn't share the links on Twitter or Facebook. Twitter said that. Yeah, Twitter would not let you share the links. And the link is from a story in the New York Post, which is really kind of crazy because that's like one of the oldest newspapers in America. Hamilton. it's a long established newspaper and they wouldn't let you post. It's not like some wild ass website, right. you know, some weird, it might not be a real website. Mm-hmm. It's, it was fucking New York Post. And so when a, a, something like a Twitter has the ability to just tell you what you can and can't talk about, yeah. even if that thing is valid, 
even if that thing, what if it does legitimately, I don't know what the fuck is in his laptop, but what if it does legitimately point to corruption? Mm. Are we supposed to just ignore it because we want to own the people on the right? It's like That's what not. we do with Pelosi. Right. What do you mean? She may corrupt. She's definitely corrupt, but she's corrupt in a loophole way, I think. Talk to me. She's doing a thing where her husband buys stock in mm. companies, mm. and she may or may not know things that would that affect that happen, company. That would affect the yeah, way that yeah, company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And yeah. they, they're so rich. They did a thing on her husband where they showed like uh, how successful he is in the yeah. stock market, like compared to regular people. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah. Hey. He, and it's like it's totally. There's no way that he knows yeah. things. She makes like two hundred grand. Yeah. I'm not saying that he knows. <laughs> No. He might be a I'm genius. not saying that. He's he might just be a genius great investor, investor bro. He's yeah. better than Buffett. That's all we're saying. Yeah. 100%. He's a goddamn a wizard. Buffett, no. yeah. He puts a wizard's <laughs> hat on and he finds the right things to gamble on. Yeah. Mm. And he always wins. I mean, she's worth like hundreds of millions of dollars. No. Like, good for her. Yeah. Does she come from money? Very gam- I don't think so. I really? think she got I some- respect that, though. Yeah. Because most of these motherfuckers come from money. They keep changing the rules of the game to help themselves. At least if you were in the gutter before and then you shift the rules up, it's like, well, at least you made the climb. A lot of these motherfuckers are just born in it. Mm. Ah, you're saying that she hustled for it. Yeah.